Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Steven. This is Oded Treasure, episode 45. And we have a Versace classic for you. This is the oldest Versace fragrance that I'm aware of, that I know, and that I own. I've had this, I got this before, and this popped up on my radar a vintage Versace Lom. This is an 80s classic. I have a 90s vintage bottle right here. Just came in the mail. I'm going to unpack this one, show you what it looks like, give it a smell test because I, I don't remember what this smells like. I just know this is what I like. This is an old classic manly cologne with all those great ingredients that we love in cologne. The oak moss, the, uh, the pepper, you got the patchouli in there. Let's check it out. All right. Fair packing job. That's exactly how I pack stuff. Just a one layer of bubble wrap taped down in the box. Well done, seller. All right. So I looked this one up on the Raiders of the Lost Scent. If you guys haven't seen Raiders of the Lost Scent, check the uh, link in the description below. That is an awesome website if you are interested in hunting vintage designer fragrances because it's a blog that shows you with pictures. It breaks down all the uh, batch code information and you can just... It really helps you understand um, all the, uh, you know, the different years of a fragrance and how they've changed over time. Just an awesome blog for uh, freaks like us that like this hobby. So here it is, Versace Lom. You can see the uh, Versace Medusa emblem. This is from the late 90s. I'm guessing this is from 96 or 97 or 98. I looked this up, like I said, on the uh, the Raiders uh, website, and uh, I think the batch code was, uh, I think I looked up this batch code, so 7 is the year, so 97 this is from. Yeah, the box looks nice, there's a, just a little ding right here in the corner, somebody dropped it, but it's no big deal, box is not that important. Gianni Versace. Profumi made in Italy. So by this time he had passed away. He was um, he was murdered. He was shot in front of his home, right in uh, Miami, South Beach. I think that was in '92, around '92 or '93. I remember that vividly because I grew up in New Jersey for the most part, but I was visiting my father. My father lived in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I was down in Fort Lauderdale. And I remember two major things happened at that time. They had a big hurricane. I think it was called Hurricane Andrew, if I'm not mistaken. And around the same time, maybe a, uh, a few days before that or after, because I was only down there for, maybe I was down there for a few weeks, like a summer vacation, if I remember. It was on the news that the killer, this guy was on the loose. He was like a serial killer. He was, he killed like four or five people. Uh, he, he, uh, he killed somebody up in Chicago or somewhere in the Midwest. He grabbed a car and he was driving south and just, just uh, like shooting people and hopping into their car and making his way down to Miami. And he was uh, holed up in a hotel and he just got a gun and he walked up to uh, Versace's house when the guy was out picking up his newspaper or something and just capped him. Just a really, just a really uh, crazy dude who did that. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's get back to this fragrance. Enough about the... Uh, the history of Johnny Versace's uh, death. All right, let's open it up and take a look inside. A little piece of tape here. We'll carefully take that off. All right. So the perfumer on this one is Roger Pellegrino. And uh, that name was familiar to me. He hasn't made a whole lot of famous stuff, but I looked him up and the two famous ones that he made are Armani Porom. By coincidence, I just made an Armani Porom video on the channel. And um, 
what was the other one? Um, Bogart, Jacques Bogart. Uh, what's it called? Jacques Bogart. Um, what's that called? The it, the name escapes me. Oh man, let me look it up. Jacques Bogart one man show. So if you're familiar with that one then you might have an idea of what this might smell like. Now, I don't know One Man Show, so I have to try that myself someday. Let's look at the bottle. There it is, 100 ml. There's that symbol. It says 81 and the degree symbol. So that's the old symbol for 81 for the percent of alcohol in it. There's the batch code 725101. Versace Profumi made in Italy. So this Giver SPA Milano, this is somewhat of the mid-90s vintage. And you see this Versace print, the, uh, the typeface. This is the classic one. So this is what it looked like even in the 80s. But the box had the same typeface on it. So this is kind of the mid-90s or the 90s version, the box. And then later in the 2000s, this change to a uh, text that looked more like this. So if you see Versace Loam with this kind of uh, writing on it, that's from the 2000s. And if you find this, this one's either from the 90s or if it's from the 80s, you have to tell by the uh, information of where it's from. Just check the uh, Raiders website. But this is cool looking bottle. It has this uh, design on the side. And this thing is almost full. Look at that. Not even 5 ml missing from this, maybe 2 or 3 ml. And it has the built-in sprayer, gotta love it. Even in the, uh, even in the mid 90s, it had this 80s style built-in sprayer. So let's, I've been uh, trying on a lot of stuff tonight. So I have something here, I have something here. I guess right here is clear. Let's spray my arm right here and see. All right, it wasn't primed. Oh, that's awesome. It is awesome in the uh, the 80s manly awesome style. What does that mean? So it does smell like Versace Porhomme to me. Versace O Porhomme. I don't know what Jacques Bogart man and show, um, one man show smells like. Mm, it's really nice. It does have the oak moss in it. And it has all these other notes in it, like, um, here, let me read off the notes to you. But I definitely pick up the, uh, I definitely pick up the lemon. It has a bergamot. It has basil, pedigrain. That's just off the top. It has rose, sandalwood, patchouli in the mid with cedar, cinnamon. And then the base is oak moss and musk and leather, of course. Got some vanilla, some tonka, some amber. Doesn't have any tobacco in it. But what I get from this is a manly, citrus, lemony scent. It's fantastic. Really awesome stuff if you like this kind of thing. So think of Versace Pour Homme, a little bit darker, and maybe a little bit like One Man Show. However, on Fragrantica, it has like double the thumbs down. So a lot of people think it smells like one man show. It's got like like 50 thumbs up, but 100 thumbs down that say it, don't, it doesn't. So I don't know, but happy I got it. This is beautiful. What did I pay for this? I paid about 16 bucks for this. I'm not kidding. I paid about 16 and change for this 100 ml bottle. Awesome stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it out, but um, this is just something I spray at home and enjoy it. I don't think my girlfriend will like it at all, but I don't care, this is for me. Versace Lom from the uh, mid to late 90s vintage, 97, on Oda Treasure. Versace Treasure Unboxed. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my content and uh, leave a comment down below, say hi, subscribe if you like this stuff, and uh, share this. If you have any friends or anybody that likes this kind of rare, discontinued, vintage fragrance discovery. 
All right, stay tuned for my other videos. I have a like I have like 10 that I've recorded that are in the can that I have to edit and get them out. I'm recording these faster than I can edit them. And uh, yeah, come back to the channel for the next one. Thanks a lot. Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me finish the story real quick if you're interested in what happened to Johnny Versace's killer. So he capped Versace in front of his house, and then he ran and jumped into a taxi. And he was on the loose, and they had some... Um, surveillance video of the guy and people were scared in Miami that there was a killer on the loose and he um, he hold he found a, a boat like a houseboat and he broke into a houseboat that nobody was in and he was there for like two weeks and uh, I don't know how they found him I think like somebody saw the light inside the boat and then the police came and, and, and saw and uh, they were staking out the boat and I think he was um, talking about like he was going to shoot himself if they got close. But they finally broke into the boat and he had um, he shot himself in the head and just killed himself and committed suicide. So that's how that sad story ended. And uh, that's how this video ends very sadly. Thanks for sticking around.